Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Weissman4 and you're watching an app review video that I'm do doing today. I wanted to take a break from the gameplay videos and go ahead and show you guys an application I've been using on my Android phone. Now, I read the news a lot and I s a lot of the tech reviews and that sort of thing and I saw this in the New York Times about two or three weeks ago and I wanted to give it a try. It was something I never heard of before and it's called Locket. Now, let me take you to the Google Play page down here. Um, so just type in Locket, just like that. And there it is. It's in beta currently, but it's coming out really soon. It lets you put advertisements on your lock screen. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say the minute I said that, why on earth would you want to do that? Well, here's why. Locket is unique in that they are actually renting the ad space from you. So, instead of them just making profit off of having advertisements on your screen, you are also making money off of it. They share a portion of it with you. How it works is, every time you like unlock your phone, you get a screen like this. Here's two examples of what they look like. I've actually seen this one ad a couple times. But here it is. You swipe left to go to the um, advertiser's website or their app or their video or whatever it is that it's advertising. Or you swipe right to unlock your phone like normal. How that works is for every one swipe you get a penny up to three swipes an hour. So it will continue to show ads after you max out your number of pennies you can make an hour. So you get three cents an hour. That equates up to 72 cents max a day. And you can do that for indefinitely. So what happens is you can make a maximum of 72 cents a day as long as you have Locket on your phone. It will continue to show you ads after you max out the cents, but that's how they're making a profit off of it, which I don't mind because it ends up helping me make more money off of it as long as they're making something. So it kind of helps both parties. I actually have been using it for about two weeks now, and I have close to $7 in my account already. That's just for me normally naturally unlocking my phone, don't trying to max it out or anything like that so I mean that's not bad and for just having these on there and I mean before long you forget that they're even there I don't even notice them half the time anymore because instead of just having the little bubble lock screen it just goes to this and that's all I see all the time it's something like this pops up and that's it and I'm on Wi-Fi most of the time so it doesn't really bother me but I've been I've tried it on my 3G I actually went up to the mountains a couple weeks ago with my family and we're trying it out up there and it worked perfectly fine right on the 3G. And even when I didn't have internet, it shows up because it will preload some of the applications on there of where it wants to take you. And it will show you the actual like advertisement screen when you don't have internet. And then it will then record how many times you um, logged into it and whatever and unlocked your phone so it can pay you the correct amount after you get back on internet and it updates their servers. So I, I haven't had any problem with it. I haven't had a crash or anything like that. It hasn't made my like internet usage or my um data go up at all. Maybe about like 20 kilobytes a week, which is nothing. I mean, I have unlimited um unlimited ah unlimited 4G with Sprint, but I mean, I haven't I haven't seen any problem with it, and it's great. It's a great app. The advertisements are not cheap ads. They don't put like the self-help ads or the weight loss ads or anything like that. That's like, you know, kind of the BS stuff that people really don't want to see. They put legitimate advertisers on this site so that they're on your phone. I get like, I've really liked the movie advertisements that I've seen a lot because they take me to films that I've haven't, didn't know were coming out on YouTube and things like that. So it's a pretty cool app. I suggest you give it a try. At least if you're not real open to the idea of having advertisements on your page, then I can understand that. I mean, I was really pretty fishy about it when I first read it, but it was because it was on the New York Times website that I wanted to give it a try. So that's just my review on Locket so far. I mean, I like it. And I'm going to keep using it. And once I get to $10, I'll withdraw it and put it in my PayPal account. It's a pretty neat idea. I think it's really going to start taking off. They're in beta right now. They've got about 3.8 star review. There are a lot of people who don't like it so far. That's mostly the people who really just hate the advertisements. And the advertisement industry, and I can understand that, but this is something that goes both ways because it helps the user for letting them show these ads on your page. And like I said, I've seen some things on here and some apps on here that I've really actually downloaded and, and enjoyed. I, I do swipe left quite a bit and check out some of the stuff that they show you on there because, like I said, they're not the cheap, like, you know, shady advertisements. They're actually legitimate companies advertising on this app. So I suggest you give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I can do more application reviews like this coming up in the near future. So just let me know. Thanks for watching, YouTube.